31 years of age on 19th October 2018. Today he is no more. He died at the age of 102 at Vijaywada. Here I could say that time a perfect background for making a short film on Shrikhande with the most befitting title, Oilers Spoiler, A Living Legend. So both Parker and Shrikhande are well known in the field of mathematics as Euler's spoiler because they spoiled his conjecture. I strongly feel that the life and achievements of this great Indian mathematician should be well documented in the form of a short film so as to inspire and motivate budding mathematicians and also the coming generations to make valuable contributions in mathematics. Here I would like to quote the words of brilliant mathematician Professor Harihar Kumbhochkar, former head of the Department of Mathematics at Kolhapur University. In a letter addressed to me, he says, I quote, I have personal acquaintance with Professor Shrikhande. He was a great mathematician, but a very simple and unassuming person. I feel he deserved much more recognition in Maharashtra. He never sought publicity. And we have poor tradition to recognize our own great sons. It is both a cause and symptom of our backwardness. You are doing a great service to the nation in general and mathematical community in particular by producing this film on him. Wish you all the success in your project. Unquote. Padma Bhushan at Padma Shri, Professor M.S. Raghunathan, an Indian mathematician, currently head of the National Center for Mathematics, Indian Institute of Technology, Mumbai, and former professor of emeritus at TIFR in Homi Bhabha, in his letter to me, said, and again I quote, my congratulations to you on this excellent job you have done. You have managed to capture the essential qualities of a man, of the man. He was indeed modest to the to a fault. I was present when directorship of Harish Chandra Research Institute or Mehta Research Institute was offered to him by the Joint Secretary of Department of Atomic Energy. The Joint Secretary said that it would be a wonderful thing for the institute if a man of his stature would take on the job, to which he responded with a smile, saying, Sure. I am a tall man, if that is what you mean to be, uh, mean by stature." Unquote. I am really fortunate as I could stay for two days with Professor Shrikhande at Vijayawada, where I could record his interview along with that of his son, Professor Mohan Shrikhande, who is a professor emeritus at Michigan University, USA, which would not have been possible without their support. In this regard, I really appreciate the wholehearted support extended by Dr. Mohan Shrikhande and Shrikhande family as a whole. Mumbai University uh, also recently uh, held a four-day international conference in, the, in his honor uh, at Bombay University. I had the opportunity to interact and interview some of his associates and collaborators there. Now, in this film, I have tried to encapsulate all the achievements of Professor Shrikhande as a mathematician and also as a human being. Suggestions and comments from your side are always welcome. Before going through the film, I would like to uh, explain a couple of ideas in mathematics, uh, which would be, which the, the terms will be coming along in, uh, subsequently in the film. And the glimpse of Euler's conjecture, what was Euler's conjecture and how Shrikhande disproved it. So let us uh, come to a uh, page. I will share a page first with you. Hmm. Can you see this? Yes, sir, we can see this. Yeah. Now at the top, you can see the word is written, please bear with my handwriting, Latin square. Latin square. Now if you look at A, B and C, look at A, 
we can see that a is the arrangement of elements or numbers in rows and columns just like a matrix it's like a matrix similarly b is also arrangement c is also an arrangement of three numbers 1 2 and 3 the speciality of a b and c is that in every row and column every element appears only once now if you look at a individually we will look at a first so look see that in the first row there are elements 1 2 and 3 which are totally different no element is repeated in first row similarly second row of a is 2 3 1 so no element is repeated in the same way in the third row also the elements are 3 1 and 2 and hence elements are not repeated no element is repeated. in the same way you can see that in every column of a no element is repeated all the elements are distinct in every row and every column such an arrangement of numbers <clears throat> it's simply an arrangement such an arrangement of numbers is called as a latin square i say that a is a latin square of order three three rows and three columns because it has three rows and three columns similarly b is also a latin square of order three c is also a latin square of order if you remember sudoku that we solve sudoku is a latin square of order 9 there are 9 elements in every row and column and no element is repeated in any row or any column so this is a small lat uh, sudoku problem you can understand this is a small <coughs> latin square of order 3 now if i <clears throat> how many latin squares can be formed out of three elements with this property that no element is repeated in row or column so that you can see that it is factorial three and if you consider the higher order latin squares you will be find that it will it becomes very difficult to list all the all the latin squares now let us come to the another concept that is orthogonal latin squares if you come to the um, below the below this a b and c below this orthogonal latin squares it is written orthogonal latin squares here we are considering two latin squares a and b first a is a latin square 1 2 3 2 3 1 3 1 2 similarly by the side of it i have drawn the second latin square of same order 3 2 1 1 3 2 and 2 1 3 now i try to superimpose b on a suppose that i shift b to the left and then see the ordered pairs form see first element of a is 1 first element of b is 3 so 1 1 and 3 will be form an ordered pair similarly 2 and 2 will form an ordered pair similarly third element of first row and third element of uh, a and third, uh, third element of first row b 3 and 1 so if you understand this superimposing b onto a i will get the set of ordered pairs the ordered pairs are 1 3 2 2 3 1 2 1 3 3 1 2 3 2 1 1 and 2 3 so this i call it as a grid it is a grid of ordered pairs where first element is from a and next element of every ordered pair is from b now th this is a very peculiar uh, grid of ordered pairs with the special property that you can see that no ordered pair is repeated in this grid grid a b look at grid a b you will find that if I consider the first element 1, 3, ordered pair 1, 3, then this ordered pair is not repeated anywhere. You will not find it in the whole grid anywhere. Similarly, if you take the uh, any of the ordered pairs, say I take the last ordered pair 2, 3, you will find that 2, 3 does not appear anywhere in the grid. So this becomes a special type of grid in which no ordered pair is re repeated anywhere in the whole grid. 
So if this happens for any two Latin squares, such as A and B here, then we say that A and B are orthogonal Latin squares. I suppose I'm uh, quite clear here. Once again, I will repeat this because this is an important idea. A and B are here two Latin squares of order three of same order. If I superimpose B onto A, I get a, a grid of ordered pairs like this. 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, 2, like this. And the, with the special property that no ordered pair is uh, repeated in the whole grid. Take any ordered pair and it is not repeated. If such is the case, then the two uh, Latin squares, just as A and B here, they are said to be orthogonal. Uh, mutually orthogonal. Now come to Euler. Long back, Euler made a conjecture. Euler was Euler, Euler started with Euler, uh, Latin squares of order 6. If you look uh, here, that you will see the numbers 6, 10, 14, 18, 22. So Euler said that if you have a Latin square of order 6, 10, 14, 18, 22, like this, it goes on then you will not find any orthogonal pair of Latin squares. I repeat this. Again, for the order 3, we have seen above that we get a uh, mutually orthogonal Latin square pair of mutually orthogonal Latin squares. What Euler said? Euler said it's okay. For 3, you will get mutually orthogonal Latin squares. But your Latin squares, if they are of order 6, 10, 14, 18, 22, then you, you won't get any order, any orthogonal Latin square for them. This was his conjecture. And this is what he proposed, which was not means established. So here, Professor Sikhande, Bose and Parker, they came together, they used some computers at that time, which were in very crude form. And they could establish, they could give a counter example, which was of order 22. And they showed that there do exist orthogonal Latin squares of order 22. You can see here the number 22. 6, 10, 14, 18, 22. These numbers can be obtained from the formula which is given. They are 4n plus 2. Give n values 1, 2, 3, and so on, and you will get the successive numbers which are written there 6, 10, 14, 18. So, this is what uh, Professor Sekunde did. I have written there Euler was right about orders. He was only right for the number 6, that for the, for the Latin square of order 6, as I have shown here, A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows and six rows and six columns. No element is repeated. So this is the Latin square of order six. Euler said, Euler was correct when he said that there do not exist Latin squares of orthogonal Latin squares of order six. So it is true. This is not possible for order six. But for successive other orders, 10, 14, 18, 22, both Srikandar and Parker showed that and actually established and gave the proof of it that there do exist orthogonal Latin squares for higher orders. This was their contribution. Now, I think I am quite clear and I would request uh, to uh, start the film. I hope you will enjoy the film.
Bertrand Russell once said, a pure mathematician like the musician is a free creator of his world of ordered beauty. The same could certainly be said about Dr. Sharachandra Shankar Shrikhande, who completed a glorious hundred in 2017. He is a celebrated witness to the evolution of mathematics in this century. This story is a glowing tribute to Professor Shrikhande, a living legend who has crowned himself as the Euler Spoiler along with the equally illustrious Dr. R.C. Bose and E.T. Parker. A distinguished work by these three turned the long-standing conjecture of 177 years made by another legendary Swiss mathematician Leonhard Euler in 1782 on its head. It was Sunday, 26th April 1959, a proud moment for every Indian as the solution to the problem was reported at the 557th meeting of the American Mathematical Society in New York. Shrikhande is also recognized for his pioneering work in combinatorics and statistical designs. The Shrikhande graph is considered among his outstanding contribution in mathematics. The invalidation of Euler's conjecture turned out to be a major breakthrough that opened the doors to various applications and implications in the fields of designs of controlled experiments in such diverse areas as biology, medicine, agriculture industry, along with communication systems, cryptography and coding theory. India has had a proud lineage of great mathematicians like Aryabhatta, Bhaskaracharya, Brahmagupta, Madhav and many more. In line with his galaxy, another great Srinivas Ramanujan became a trigger for many modern Indian mathematicians who made outstanding contribution to the ever-growing branches of mathematics. The contribution by Shrikhande is of a fundamental nature but very significant nevertheless. Recently, Shrikhande's birthday celebrations were held in Vijaywada in Andhra Pradesh. It was a momentous occasion for him and his admirers. He has always been a family man, a doting husband for his caring wife Shakuntala, loving father attached to his siblings Anil, Mohan and Asha. He is known for his simplicity and humility. Shrikhande has been an excellent mentor. He was born on 19th October 1917 in Sagar, Madhya Pradesh. He prosecuted his education and honed his talents as mathematician at Government High School Sagar Robertson College, Jabalpur, Institute of Science, Nagpur. Shrikhande has had very strong roots with Nagpur. He joined the hallowed portals of Institute of Science, Nagpur as a lecturer in mathematics and served in various capacities from 1942 to 1958. In fact, he founded and became the first head of the Department of Mathematics and Statistics at Institute of Science, Nagpur. The highly coveted PhD came in 1950 from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill under Professor R.C. Bose. He taught at various universities in the USA. He also founded the Department of Mathematics, Mumbai University. In an exclusive interview, Professor Shrikhande said, Your upbringing as a mathematician. No, I have no personal directly. I have only the methods. I all, all the subjects I am really interested mm -hmm. in getting really. Mm -hmm. So I can't say I can't say that methods was the only thing I was interested in. Mm -hmm. I was interested I was not interested in Botanical sciences are. But then, uh, how did you evolve as a mathematician? <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult to say. 
I will be interested in mathematics, but that's all I can say. I will be interested in other subjects also. Physics. So it's very difficult to say truly mm-hmm. what I was interested in. So then, uh, uh, after your uh, uh, BSc honors, yeah, you went to uh, Calcutta to ISI. Uh, and uh, tell uh, us about your experiences there. Malnabis? Malnabis, I met him. Malnabis was a teacher who yeah. was organizing. Yes, yeah. Uh, who is this? Uh, I forget the name. Mm-hmm. C.R. Rao? C.R. Rao. Ah, C.R. Rao. Yeah. yeah. The Department of Mathematics, Mumbai University recently organized a four-day international conference in mathematics from 22nd to 25th January 2018 to celebrate the centenary of their founding head, Dr. Shri Khande. Professor Shri Khande was the cynosure of all eyes Mohan Shrikhande, the son of Shrikhande, retired from the Department of Mathematics, Central Michigan University in 2015, said, I uh, went to Indiana University, Bloomington, Indiana, in 1966, and uh, I worked in uh, uh, algebra with uh, my professor, Professor Azumaya, I was very happy to uh, come to Mumbai University to take part in the conference uh, in honor of my father. So I enjoyed uh, giving two talks and also meeting uh, my father's old colleagues, uh, many of whom uh, gathered there after many years. And I was uh, very happy to join them in uh, celebrating his uh, uh, 100th birthday and also uh, the st- starting of the mathematics department at Bombay University. In 1782, Euler made his famous conjecture, there do not exist two mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order 4n plus 2 for every positive integer n. Latin square A Latin square is an n by n array filled with n different symbols each occurring exactly once in each row and exactly once in each column. Orthogonal Latin squares Two Latin squares of the same order are said to be orthogonal to each other if when any of the squares is superimposed on the other every ordered pair of symbols appears exactly once. Euler estimated the puzzle. There are 36 officers belonging to six different regiments. Each regiment has six officers of different ranks. How to arrange them in the form of a square such that each row and column has six officers and no rank or regiment appears more than once in a row or a column? Mathematically, this means to find at least one pair of mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order 6. Euler was stuck here as he was unable to find such a pair of Latin squares of order 6 and neither was he able to prove that they did not exist. Based on his experience with this problem and some other pieces of evidence, Euler made conjecture which included and went beyond by generalizing it to the numbers of the form 4n plus 2. Euler was right about the Latin squares of order 6. Indeed, there do not exist mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order 6. This was verified by a Russian mathematician, Gatsantari, in 1901. He painstakingly checked out all the possible cases, but where Euler erred, was in generalizing this result for the numbers of type 4n plus 2. A number of previous results and conjectures led to the final masterstroke by these three mathematicians 
justifiably called by their friends and colleagues as Euler's spoilers. It was McNeish in 1922 who gave a lower bound for the number of mutually orthogonal Latin squares of any order n. He went on to make the conjecture that this lower bound is same as the upper bound. Parker found that there were four mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order 21 using method used to design statistical experiments called balanced incomplete block designs. This contradicted the McNeish conjecture. Bose and Shrikhande actually constructed orthogonal Latin squares of order 22 using generalization of balanced incomplete block designs called pairwise balanced designs. Shrikhande recalls his associations with Dr. R. C. Bose and E. T. Parker. When, when did you meet uh, Bose? Bose, when I went to Chamberlain. No, but did you, did you not meet him at uh, ISI at Calcutta? At, at Calcutta, yes. I met him, but I had no particular close association mm -hmm. with him. When did he go to America? Bose, I think, he went against the advice of Malnois. Okay, all right. Well, it was good for him, mm -hmm. for the development of the subject. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then we trained Sierra Rao mm -hmm. and uh, I forget other names. Kalyanpur, Kalyanpur you uh, went to ISI? Kalyanpur, I met only in Chapel. In Chapel Hill? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kalyanpur mm -hmm. and. Uh, Bahadur. Bahadur, I think. Raghuraj Bahadur. Yeah. He is a good good mathematician. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kalyanpur also did some good work, mm -hmm. but I can't uh, tell exactly what mm -hmm. it is. Around the same time, Parker, the professor emeritus of the University of Illinois, also came up with two mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order 10 via different method. How did you uh, come into contact with uh, Professor Parker? I don't recall. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah, so Parker was uh, working at the Rand Corporation. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a uh, uh, computer expert. Yeah. And uh, he uh, did he find the first counter example? Mm -hmm. was, was Parker? Did he find the first counter example or the second counter example to Euler's conjecture? Uh, did, did you and Bose find the first counter-example or was it Parker? I think it was Parker. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you could develop your uh, materials to disprove yeah. this conjecture for all values of T. <laughs> A series of long and intense interactions between Bose, Shrikhande and Parker finally led to the rigorous proof that there did indeed exist orthogonal Latin squares of all orders other than 6 and 2. They used ideas from geometry, combinatorics and statistics. It made the splash it deserved. The story appeared on the front page of New York Times along with the photograph of Bose, Shrikhande and Parker. As Bose narrated, the cashier at the desk of the hotel said to me, You must have done something. The front page of New York Times cannot be bought for a million dollars. Professor Shrikhande recalls, now What was your reaction when you saw the, your picture? on the front page of New York Times. Yeah, very happy, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then when I went to the mathematical conference, mm -hmm. when I came back to the hotel, hotel. Ah. so the 
man who was there. He, he said that, do you know that Rafik Tehavi in the New York Times? I said, I, I don't recall. Mm. I don't I haven't seen as yet. So then he showed me. I see, yeah. I see. <laughs> Shri Khande's second son, Mohan, was in school when his teacher asked him if he had seen the day's New York Times. Well, I remember that I was about uh, 12 years old in uh, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, when uh, he did his uh, famous work on uh, Euler's Conjecture. And <clears throat> My teachers uh, at school had asked me whether I had read the New York Times in which the, his photo had appeared along with uh, that of Professor Parsi Bose and uh, E.T. Parker. Well, I told her that I had not uh, read it but I was quite surprised that it had appeared in the newspaper. So she said that you should go home and read it carefully. Yeah. Well, I had schooling in uh, Nagpur, in the Rumpet uh, Middle School uh, in the 7th and 6th, uh, 7th and 8th standard. Then I went to America and uh, I was at uh, Chapel Hill in the uh, 8th and 9th standards. I have, I have fond memories of uh, my time there. In 10th and 11th standard. I did my uh, two years at uh, Bishop Cotton High School. Shri Khande made many more crucial contributions to the combinatorics and the design theory. He delivered another landmark paper in 1959, defining what is known as Shri Khande graph that has connections with algebra, group theory, and topology. Professor Sharad Sane, Emeritus Fellow, a combinatorist at IIT Bombay says all his work carried the hallmark of being simple and elegant, yet deep. Late Jagdish Narayan Srivastav, an Indian-born mathematician, statistician and a professor at Colorado State University says in any given combinatorial setting, Professor Shrikhande has the knack of discovering questions which are deep elegant and significant. Shri Khande returned to India in 1960 after his cerebral work and joined the much venerated Banaras Hindu University. In 1963, he joined the Bombay University and was the first head of the Department of Mathematics and the director of the UGC Centre for Advanced Studies in Mathematics. Professor Shri Khande opines about Indian mathematicians. I think there are quite a few of them, like uh, who were connected with. Mm. Chawla? Huh? Chawla? Yeah, Chawla was one, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you. Uh, 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 Meet Harish Chandra. Harish no, Chandra. I, 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 I saw him mm -hmm. at Tata Institute mm -hmm. when he was registered and I was there. Oh, I see. But I, I, no, I don't know much about his contribution now. Mm -hmm. How about uh, Abhyankar, Sri Ram Abhyankar? Yeah, he is a good mathematician. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He died. Uh, yeah. A few years ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shri Khande's student Naveen Singhi did his PhD under him in 1972 to 73 and started collaborating with Shri Khande and Bose. Professor Singhi, winner of the prestigious Shanti Swaroop Bhatnagar Award for Science and Technology for Notable Research, is now a retired professor from Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai, specializing in combinatorics and graph theory. Professor Singhi speaks about major contributions of Professor Shri Khande. Uh, one of his most well-known contribution is uh, on Euler's conjecture. Uh, he uh, disproved Euler's conjecture for all numbers 
which are con congruent to 2 modulo 4 uh, except for n equal to 6 which was already proved by Euler and uh, that was a big change in the style in which combinatorics uh, particularly the designs in the field of designs research was done. He defined to prove this conjecture, uh, disprove this conjecture, he defined what are called pairwise balanced design and pairwise balanced design they used also they described the method actually they devised the method how to use them to create bigger design and since then until now that is one of the basic method to create larger designs after uh, before this problem actually he proved another very well known theorem about uh, symmetric designs by using Hase Minkowski theorem for the quadratic form he could prove generalize the theorem of Bruck and Reiser and prove a non existence theorem for the symmetric design symmetric design they use uh, so some sort of number theory related uh, tool he used to prove the theorem in combinatorics that is still one of the best results in the field later on he proved a very well known result on what are called L2 association scheme he disproved he proved that L2 association scheme is determined by its parameters except for n equal to 4 in, that, in case of n equal to 4 he showed by an example that it is not determined that example is well known as uh, Shikhande graph in fact if anybody searches on internet Shikhande graph you might get at least 20 sites which are describing this graph in very colorful manner when I started working with him before that he had proved a he had given a very simple proof of uh, Marshall Hall and Connors theorem for uh, to prove that uh, quasi residual design is a residual design in case of 2 and lambda is 2 and uh, that time he gave a proof by using what is called triangular association scheme their characterization by parameter when I joined him one of the results which we proved which was also considered path breaking was that the quasi residual design for higher lambda we could show that if the block size is large then they are also uh, residual design of symmetric design in fact we together with Bose we proved this general, result in general case first with Shikhande and myself we proved for lambda equal to 3 and we proved for a very general class of designs similar results which are called partial geometric design before that another uh, well known theorem we had proved is that if a fine planes if two parallel classes are missing then it can be completed to a projective plane each of these results is considered a landmark in the field Apart from that, he introduced several new concepts like he defined he and along with one of his students, Bhagavandas, he defined what is called the uh, uh, switching equivalent graphs and that is also one of the very basic concept in the graph theory. Uh, he also studied, defined a new method to study Hadamard designs by what are called good blocks condition. He went on introducing such ideas for during most of his active research time and that time we solved a famous problem of Erdos. We showed that Erdos Larson conjecture is uh, if that is true then the projective plane conjecture is false. Uh, in fact Erdos changed his conjecture after our result. He he said in during his time in India at a time when most people were going from India to USA he came back from USA to India and worked as uh, administrator in head of the department here at a time when he could have got job in which he may not have any administrative duty anywhere and he could have lived in the USA Late Vasanti Bhatnaik also did her PhD under Shrikhande at Bombay University 
and later joined as head of the department of mathematics there. Professor Mohan Shrikhande recalls, uh, He had uh, many, many, many PhD students at Bombay. I remember uh, Mrs. Bhatnayak was one of them. Uh, Naveen Singhi later on became a student and also uh, Bhagwandas who is now at uh, uh, retired, he was at uh, the university in Indore and uh, uh, they all did uh, good work under his guidance and Singhi especially has uh, achieved quite a lot of uh, fame and recognition for the many joint papers that he has done with my father. While talking about Shri Khande's contribution, Professor Sharat Sane said, Shri Khande's contribution to the field along with R.C. Bose had a perfect clarity which also brought out uh, the depth of the field, the depth of the field you work in along with its myriad uh, connections. The long-lasting effect of his work is clearly seen with publications of uh, quality research work in the lead journal Design Scores and Cryptography uh, that has been publishing research papers of high quality for the past 25 years. Uh, the Charles Babbage Research Institute in Canada brought out uh, a special volume of collected works of uh, S. S. Srikhande. I will therefore be content with mentioning two of his most outstanding results. The PBD closure technique pairwise balanced design closure technique uh, that was first used by Bose and Shrikhande paved way for some path breaking results that culminated in the seminal work on asymptotic existence theory of Raichaudhiri and Wilson. Shrikhande graph, the 16 vertex graph with an elegant embedding on a torus is an object with high aesthetic appeal. Shrikhande also championed the use of linear algebraic techniques in the theory of log designs. Mahendra G. Nadkarni, Emeritus Professor and former Head of the Department of Mathematics, Mumbai University, who was associated with Shri Khande, recalls. Mahendra Shri Khande Ji, first of all, was the first of all, and the first of all, मत वजह काम के लोग था आइलर रेंसर दोनों पर सरचार कंजेक्टर का जी डिस्प्लू के लोग था ऐसे अंतर पर इस तरह पंची पर और थली मंजे ये वो जो बख्यात होते हैं ऐसे काम में वो सामने होता पर ये मानुष मानो अति साधे रहनी ऐसे काम आते एक सुंदर है ये अन्य एक प्रकार से सरप्राइज एलिमेंट आस्तु तक चला जा काम करेला इतना कर करेला कठिन नहीं है पर तसे काम करेला फार फार कठिन है ये केला नंतर समझाना फार सोपा है ये काम ऐसी प्रसिद्धि तर से राणा मैं नहीं ऐसी तात्पुर्ति पर प्रसिद्धि नहीं होती यानी आयलर कंजेक्शन प्रस्तुत के नारे पन्ना सोशल पुरुष जैसे अंदर आदमी तय चाबदर लोगों को बोलता था नहीं ऐसे नंतर सु on the humility of Shri Khande, the late Canadian mathematician Ralph G. Stanton said, Shri Khande evinced more interest in discussing other topics in design theory than dwelling on his own achievements. Yashodhan Hathwarne, a physicist at the Raman Research Institute in Bangalore, who accompanied Shri Khande on long walks, said, that he never spoke about his achievements. Mohan Shri Khande started co-authoring papers with some of his father's colleagues like Bose, Singhi and Sane. Thus, Professor Shri Khande was a banyan tree under whose shade many a mathematician took shape. Dr. Jyotsna Prajapat, head of the department Mathematics, Mumbai University, said, uh, Professor Shri Khande turned uh, 100 years old on 19th October uh, 2017. Uh, it was a memorable moment for me to be present for his uh, birthday celebration and meet him personally. Uh, it's uh, I consider it an honor that um, 
he was the first head of the department of mathematics uh, which he established in 1963 and uh, i am a student of the same department taught by his student and today i am the head of this department as well and uh, this momentous occasion has happened uh, uh, during my tenure professor shri khande retired in 1978 and accepted directorship of Mehta Research Institute, Allahabad, now known as Harishchandra Research Institute. He lost his wife, Shakuntala, in 1988. After staying for some years in US, he returned to India in 2009. How did uh, your wife support you in all, all your, uh, throughout your career? Yes, she was a good housewife. I doesn't this say I can't say well, that she distresses me in my field of yeah. But she gave you a good working environment. Yes, yes, yeah. She never interfered with me. Why are you doing this or not this? Yeah. Today. In the evening of his life, Shri Khande is living in Vijaywada in Chinmayananda Ashram for the underprivileged girls run by the in-laws of Neeta Kulkarni, one of his grandchildren. Uh, my father now is uh, staying in uh, Vijaywada uh, at uh, Chinmayananda Ashram and he is uh, well looked after by uh, many people here. And, uh, was very happy to uh, meet me and all of my friends, especially my cousin Dilip Shrikande and his friend Arun Muktibodh. So they have uh, made a uh, very nice uh, collection of uh, articles uh, which they hope to put into uh, the uh, into a short film to inspire. Uh, future mathematicians or young young people into mathematics. So I'm very happy to uh, do a small part to contribute to this. We all, on behalf of the department and uh, all the undergraduate teachers, the alumni of the department, uh, we all wish him uh, a good life and healthy life. Uh, I should uh, thank Professor Muktibodh for taking this kind of effort on his own and um, uh, trying to create um, and putting together uh, these kind of uh, excerpts from people who have been associated with uh, with Professor Srikande and the Department of Mathematics. The techniques developed by both Srikande and Parker have endured enough to have become an important and integral part of the study of design theory and combinatorics. Once a mathematician, always a mathematician, Professor Shri Khande's romance with figures continues. These days, he is usually seen at his desk solving sudokus and word puzzles. His very presence is like a soothing balm. He exudes an aura of a sage full of wisdom and humility. He even counts his own steps while moving around with a walker. Being confined to a wheelchair does not stop him from enjoying the presence of having children around him. Message by Shri Khande to young budding mathematicians. They should develop a long view of mathematics, not a particular problem in which they are interested, mm. but others are Three. Yeah, that is important. They should also have broad training in various uh, various parts of mathematics. Yeah. You can tell us you have been using law. What is your opinion about this subject? Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, what you say is true. Uh, most uh, most people will go into mathematics thinking they will work only in one particular topic and uh, are not so interested in learning more about uh, various branches. 
but it is a good idea to get get a general picture of mathematics and uh, learn as, as many different topics and uh, you never know what will come in handy to solve a particular problem so you should always have a open mind to learn so everything you can we salute professor sharad chandra shankar shri khande and wish him many more years to enlighten the coming generations mathematics reveals its secrets to those who approach it with pure love for its own beauty professor shri khande epitomizes all that and more our heart and soul salute to this figure of figures Now, if anybody has any queries, they may go on. i have tried to made uh, uh, srikandey's contributions for the audience as simple as possible however these are the mathematical uh, things that one has to understand and i know that it takes a lot of time to actually digest these things and to be conversant with it however this was my humble attempt to encapsulate all the achievements of professor srikhande as a mathematician and also as a human being i i thought that this uh, this was the thing that i should do because we indians have many great mathematicians and scientists who have been ignored by the academicia or and hence i think it's our duty to project their achievements fortunately this was uh, i have uh, displayed this film at various uh, institutions like harish chandra research institute then banaras hindu university then iisc bangalore iisc bangalore has even archived this film uh, with their film society so if, if any queries um, related to this film and its production are there you may write to me at amukti2000 this is my uh, mail address a m u k t i amukti2000 2300 at yahoo.com thank you so much thank you so this is going i can't hear should we stop yes sir thank you sir should i leave yes sir thank you everyone thank you. okay thank you very much